Then I have the Honourable Member from Calgary Forest Lawn. In just two years, this Liberal NDP Prime Minister has doubled the interest payments on his explosive debt. That's more tax dollars going to bankers, bondholders and this Finance Minister's Bay Street buddies than on health care. After eight years, this Prime Minister is not worth the cost or his waste like the $35 billion infrastructure bank that's built zero projects yet lined the pockets of Liberal cronies. When will this Prime Minister cut the waste, cut the corruption, fix the budget to bring home lower prices, bring down inflation and interest rates? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, we've already heard conservative hypocrisy. Now we are hearing conservative alarmism. So let's set the facts straight. The reality is Canada's public finances are sustainable. And that's not me talking. That is the credit ratings agencies which have awarded Canada a AAA rating. It doesn't get better than that. But the real question Canadians need to ask themselves is what would the Conservatives cut in their reckless and ideological pursuit of austerity? We've heard about them from health care. Uh, they would go to make cuts. The Honourable Member from Calgary Forest Lawn. Well, we're, first we're going to cut the amount of Liberal seats in this House and replace them with a common-sense Conservative government. And let me give this fast and furious Finance Minister some free non-consultant advice. Why don't they cut woke policies like an axe the carbon tax to bring down the cost of gas, groceries and home heating and pass Bill C-234 for our farmers? Why don't they cut the $20 billion this Prime Minister gives to Liberal consultants to cover up the incompetency by his own Cabinet? After eight years, we all know this Prime Minister is not worth the cost. When will the Liberals fix the budget to bring down inflation and interest rates already? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. I'll tell you one thing we know they would cut for sure, because that's what their votes during the marathon voting session showed. They would cut, shamefully, our support for Ukraine. They would not send weapons to Ukraine. The member is an MP for Alberta, and I would like to ask him what his heckling colleagues have just shouted. Why do they support Putin? Have they 